Hey everybody, um, this video I wanted to do, obviously a look, this is the look, hope you like it, but um, I want to show you the difference between using brushes and a sponge applicator, and I don't really think it makes a difference, people like, make it seem like you can't do anything without brushes, you know? And this is for my beginners and people that do not have brushes. I want to show you that you can create these looks even if you do not have one of those brushes. So let's get started. Uh, put your primer, obviously. Bed everywhere. Okay. And I'm going to take this white put that under my brow introducing the refreshing fragrance of cool serenity bring it down soothing water fresh peony flowers and rich just rub it downwards find it in the new relaxing moments collection from glade sc johnson a family company okay then i'm just going to take some bases um i'm going to use the yellow and i'm going to use a little bit of the blue Yellow is going to go on to the inner corner right here. Only a really little bit. You don't need a lot. And if you don't have it, then you don't need it. Just use another type of primer, whatever you can use. But I like using the color I'm using. It brings out the color more. Just a little bit of blue. Bring it over up a little. Try to blend it into the other color because if you don't, then yeah, it's not gonna blend very well with the shadow even over the with the shadow even over it. Just got tongue twister there, you guys. Okay, so we have that. Now this side I did do with brushes, and I'm gonna do this side. Then I'm gonna take pictures, and I want you guys to tell me what's the difference. Sponge applicator, okay? I'm using this goldy yellow color. Remember, inner corner. It's just you know I feel bad when I see people doing looks and everything and like I don't know maybe they feel like they can't do this stuff because they don't have the things other people do you know and to tell you the truth I didn't have any brushes till I won Miss Dana Kay's whatever you um, you can have whatever you like contest or something like that and she got me some brushes Okay. Then we're gonna use this blue color in here. That's gonna be on the outer corner. And um, you know, my first video on YouTube was a contest entry. And um, I won first place on my first video, my first contest, everything. And that was really nice. I was crazy happy, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that showed me, like, okay, I don't need half the stuff these girls have on here. Alright, you're going to pat this because you do not have a blending brush. So you can't just go like that. You have to pat the color over onto the yellow very lightly. And I'm going to go back with that yellow again. And go right here. And go over the blue. Pat it in circles like this. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's uh, blending there, ain't it? And you're going to go back with that blue. Go back over this again. See if it's the same area. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Then I'm going to use this. Uh, it's called Gypsy. It's Wet and Wild. It's just a pearly white color. Get that on your brush. 
Okay. We're gonna go up here, lay it flat and do this. I'm gonna brush it down like that. Okay. And you're gonna keep doing that and going like this till it looks blended to you. Um, people that can't do makeup without brushes, then maybe it's not you really doing a good job. Maybe it's just the brushes that are really helping you out. So, if you can do with a sponge applicator, then you know what you're doing. Put it on this inner corner. Brush it up onto the yellow a little, just to get a little bit of light right there. And... Uh, actually, you guys, that is it. That's it. Can you see that? I see some people that can't even get this look. And it takes them so much longer. <laughs> so, yeah. And let's say you want to add some under there. You can just take this and go under your eye with it. I'm going to take some of the blue. Out of corner. Brush it under. Halfway. Okay. And then your liquid liner, your eyeliner, your mascara, your lashes, whatever you want to put on. There you go. I just thought I would do this because, you know. I don't know, I feel like everybody thinks you absolutely need brushes to do any type of makeup. I used to do bomb makeup and I didn't even have brushes. Then, um, my mascara, this is the Ulta mascara, just lengthening, I really don't care what it does, I just want some mascara. Okay, I'm just gonna put my liner fix my brow but as you guys see here's my look and when you look at this I want you guys to tell me do you see a difference because there you go you see me do it on camera and it looks pretty good to me I don't know about you, what you guys think but it looks pretty good to me People may think it may take longer with a sponge applicator. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I could go outside like this, you never know. I did the other eye with something else. So I'm gonna do little looks for um, my subscribers that do not have brushes and they only have applicators and they think they can't do these type of things without brushes. Well, I'm gonna keep showing you different looks you can do with applicators. You can do anything with them, but some people just think you can't so I'm gonna do different looks you know different things so you know you have things you can do you don't always need it so I really hope this helped you guys and till the next one in my series so thank you for watching you guys bye bye